I look like hell. Pfft, you should see yourself. You have one eye. Steve. Okay, you go get dressed and uh, I'll see you in a bit, okay? Steve. Hey, you're looking good though. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on commenting on people's appearance. So in this video, I'm going to give you some expressions, most of which are idiomatic, and some adjectives that you can use to make positive and negative uh, comments about people's appearance. Now, before we start, I want to say for the negative expressions, the negative adjectives, use these with, you know, some discretion. Uh, usually you only want to use these with people you know very well or if you want to joke around with your friends. So you don't want to tell someone at work that they look like hell um, if you don't know them very well. But if it's your best friend and you just want to joke with them a little bit, uh, it's applicable then, okay? All right, so let's begin with some positive expressions. So you could say all of these things that are positive and you start them with saying, you look like, you could say, you look like a million bucks, like just money. You look like money, like a million dollars. Um, so bucks just means dollars. So if someone looks very fancy or just great, you can say you look like a million bucks. Same with, this is self-explanatory, you look like a movie star, okay? So yeah, you look like Russell Crowe or Keanu Reeves if you think, you know, those guys are attractive and stuff. Uh, you look like a supermodel. So this is probably, you know, much more common if you're talking to um, a girl, a uh, female. Um, please don't say this to strangers, guys. Be, just be smart about it, okay? All right, and final one. Uh, you could use this for men, but usually this is for girls as well. You look like you just walked off the runway or you stepped off the runway. So the runway is in fashion shows. It's literally the path that the models walk. So let me walk like a model for you. Yeah. So I look like I just walked off the runway. So I look like a fashion model, basically. Okay. So if uh, your friend comes to work and they're wearing like a really nice dress or their hair is really cool, you're like, wow, you look like a supermodel or you look like you just walked off the runway. All right. Now some negative expressions. So uh, again, please use these expressions with people you know well if you want to joke with them um, or maybe someone says, tell me honestly. How do I look? Okay. You can say, you look like a mess. Okay. So you can say a, a mess, like you're not tidy, not clean. Your hair is everywhere. Uh, you look like a total disaster. You can also say, so you look like hell, uh, not like heaven, but like hell. Okay. Um, so Steve thinks I look like hell today, but come on, Steve. Nah, there's no way. Sharp. I'm sharp today. Next, you look like a bum. Uh, I had to do that in the Rocky voice a little bit. So uh, if you look like a bum, you look like... Um, it's not very polite. You're, you, you, say, you mean that the person looks like someone who is homeless, uh, someone who lives on the street, and maybe someone who hasn't taken a shower in a long time, okay? And you look like a walking disaster, like a walking disaster, okay? Uh, you can also say a mess or a total disaster, a walking disaster. And these two are really cool. Uh, I love this one. I use it with Steve all the time because he looks like hell. You look like you just rolled out of bed. Okay, so you look like you just woke up and you got out of bed and you're still in your pajamas. You haven't washed your face. Your eyes are baggy and your hair is everywhere. And whoa, 
you look like you just rolled out of bed. Can you just go to the bathroom and clean yourself up, please, for all of us? And next, you look like you got hit by a truck. So imagine getting hit by a truck. Um, your body probably doesn't look very clean or attractive if you get hit by a truck. So you can see the imagery here, okay? So again, just imagine hair everywhere, clothes everywhere, not clean, not sharp, but very, very messy and sloppy as well. Okay, so we have some positive expressions, some negative expressions. Now let's just look at some basic adjectives uh, to talk about appearance. I stepped on my mic cord. Hold on. So for adjectives, you can simply say, hey, you look, some positive things, you look nice. This one, very general. You can use it with, you know, in all situations. You just want to be a kind human being. You look nice. You look good. Wow, you look great. You look amazing. So uh, someone who comes into work and they look much nicer than usual maybe, and you can say, you look amazing. Uh, you can also say, I don't have the word here, but other words, other synonyms for amazing, like you look incredible, okay? Next, sharp. So you've heard me use the word sharp twice in this video. Uh, sharp means clean, and neat. So I think I look very sharp today. Uh, when I think of sharp, I think of a man in a suit. Uh, it could be a woman as well, but typically we use it for, for men, but you can use it for women too. So someone who looks neat, clean, tidy, sharp. Okay. Next, you can say you look gorgeous. This is a synonym for beautiful, which I think I have here. Um, or if you want to get a little more idiomatic, you can say, you look drop dead gorgeous. Now, what does drop dead gorgeous mean? You are so beautiful. When I look at you, I can't live. It's, it's too beautiful. You're too gorgeous. I want to drop dead. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So drop dead gorgeous. You are too beautiful for life, basically. Next, we have stunning. So stunning. Think of someone who walks in the room and you go, whoa. Okay. They surprise you. They shock you with their beauty or their elegance or something else. So you look stunning, incredible, okay? You look radiant. So someone who looks radiant, think of the sun, okay? The sun is bright. The sun, you think of happiness when you think of the sun. So someone who's radiant is smiling. They have bright colors. Uh, they look like, you could say, you look like spring right? Like the season of spring. So you look radiant. You look very happy and beautiful. Okay. Next, you look elegant. Um, so I think this word, you know, it translates into many other languages. Um, pretty sure into Spanish, also into French. And think of someone like Coco Chanel, if you're thinking of the word elegant. And okay, three more here. You have cute, Oh, so cute. I think you guys know cute. Like, uh, I guess Pikachu, the Pokemon, is kind of cute in a way. But, uh, you know, be careful who you use this on. If it's like someone who goes to the gym and they're big and you don't, you don't want to say, Oh, you look so cute. What? Hmm. I don't know. I don't mind being called cute. It's okay. Um, you look adorable. Adorable is a similar word to cute. Like you just think, ah, adorable, so cute, okay? So maybe this is someone who's wearing like a little flower in their hair and um, just a little colorful flower dress or something. And you just wanna take them and put them on your shelf because they're like a little doll or something like that, okay? 
And uh, for men, you can say, you look handsome. So this is just attractive, or you look good, right? Handsome. And we reviewed the word beautiful, and then we have the word chic. You look chic. So chic is a mixture of elegance and fashion. So you look fashionable, like cool, but very elegant as well. So stylish, cool, elegant, a mix of elegance and beauty, okay? You look chic. Now, I'm gonna give you three more, and these are more used in British English. So the first one is smart. Now, smart, actually, and dapper, but first we'll look at smart. Think of smart as a synonym for the word sharp. So if someone looks smart, they look clean and tidy. Okay? They don't look messy. Um, they look like they got up, they took a shower, they comb their hair perfectly, they look like they have perfect angles all over their body. You look very smart, very sharp. You can also say dapper. Now, smart you can use to talk about women and men. Dapper typically is used for men. And when I think of the word dapper, I think of someone who is wearing a suit. I think of James Bond. Typically, Sean Connery. Terrible accent. Okay, sorry. Uh, or like Daniel Craig. You know, he looks very dapper in the James Bond movies. And if I say, you look fit. Uh, now, this could mean like you look healthy. Uh, it can also mean a person looks attractive, sexy, or uh, in other parts of the world, you can say you look hot as well. So if someone is fit, they are physically attractive to you. And again, be careful who you say this to. Please don't go out on the street telling women or men that they look fit, um, unless that you're just commenting on like their physical health or something, right? Um, now, let's move on to some negatives. You know, there, there's, these are very, very um, common standard adjectives that we use. So, you look awful. You look terrible. You look horrible. Or, this is the worst one for many people. You look tired. So, if anyone ever tells you you're tired, I think this one crosses cultural, international boundaries. If someone tells you you look tired, it's not a compliment. It's not something you want to hear, right? Okay. Okay. So, a lot of expressions, a lot of adjectives in this video, which means you should probably review it. Uh, and to review with me before you watch this video again, I'm going to review each one of them one more time. I'm just going to say them. And I want you to use your ears, listen to me, and pronounce the expressions and pronounce the words. Ready? Yes, teacher Alex. Ah, oh, okay. So, repeat after me. You look like a million bucks. He looks like a movie star. She looks like a supermodel. You look like you just walked off the runway. Let's move to the negatives. You look like a mess. You look like hell. You look like a bum. He looks like a walking disaster. She looks like she just rolled out of bed. You look like you got hit by a truck. Pfft, truck. Not, not cool. Okay, and quickly. We'll do these ones a little faster. Ready? Repeat after me. You look nice. 
You look good. You look great. He looks amazing. You look sharp. You look drop dead gorgeous. She looks stunning. You look radiant. She looks elegant. Ah, she looks so cute. Did you do the ah? Good. All right. He looks adorable. Like a, like a baby. You want to pinch their cheeks. Just adorable. Okay. Um, he looks handsome. You look beautiful. I stepped on my mic cord again. You look very chic. I'm going to try a British accent with this. You look smart. You look dapper. You look fit. I'll have to ask like Jill or uh, Jade how I did there to see if my accent was not bad. Okay. All right. Going back to my standard speaking. You look awful. You look terrible. He looks horrible. You look tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. All right, everybody. Let me fix this thing. Okay. Alex versus the mic cord. That should be the subtitle for this video. So if you want to test your understanding of this material, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com. And uh, if you want to follow me, you can subscribe to my page, my page. Yeah, my page on YouTube. Uh, you can also add me on Facebook. I have a fan page there. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter. I do a uh, hashtag ing tips on both of those. So you can get in touch with me. And finally, if you want to support the website, support what we do, what I do, make sure we can keep making videos forever and ever. As always, you can donate to the website. Uh, we appreciate every donation we receive. So thank you very much. I'm going to check on Steve. Steve, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, something's different. Nothing is different. Yeah, you look very sharp. Yeah, he looks like hell. <laughs>